This is Belgium. Welcome to Opentiera. Did you know Belgium, nestled in Western Europe, boasts a rich culture influenced by both French and Dutch traditions? From its renowned painters shaping art history to its mouth-watering cuisine blending French finesse with Flemish heartiness, Belgium is a captivating mosaic. Also, did you know that Belgium played a pivotal role in the global fashion scene with trailblazing avant-garde designs emerging from Antwerp? Join us and stay tuned to uncover more fascinating insights into Belgium's cultural wealth. Belgium is located in Western Europe, bordered by the Netherlands, Germany, Luxembourg and France. At only 30,528 square kilometers, it is one of Europe's smallest countries. The climate is temperate maritime with significant precipitation. The terrain is largely flat with three main geographical regions. The coastal Flanders Plain in the northwest contains major port cities like Antwerp, Ghent and Bruges. The central region has the central plateaus crossed by rivers including the Meuse and Sambre, flowing through cities like Liège and Charleroi. Southern Wallonia features the forested Ardennes Highlands. Despite its small size, Belgium's strategic crossroads location, infrastructure and varied landscape have facilitated its emergence as a global economic hub. Belgium continues to leverage these advantages with major cities like Brussels, Antwerp, Ghent and Bruges, serving as important commercial and political centers connecting continental Europe. In the early Middle Ages, Belgium was part of the Frankish Empire established by Charlemagne. Charlemagne was King of the Franks and later Emperor of the Romans, conquering much of Western Europe and uniting it into a large empire in the late 8th and early 9th centuries. Under Charlemagne, Belgium was Christianized and incorporated as a core part of the Frankish Kingdom. As an important center of trade and commerce, Belgian cities like Bruges and Ghent prospered within the empire. After Charlemagne died and the empire split apart, Belgium became part of the Middle Kingdom under the rule of the Lotharingian monarchs. Throughout the late Middle Ages, rule over Belgium passed between various feudal lords and dukes. In the 14th and 15th centuries, Belgium remained fragmented politically but developed into an economic center focused on textiles, tapestries and wool production. In the early 16th century, much of Belgium came under the control of the Habsburg King Charles V and was incorporated into the Spanish Empire after Charles split his kingdom between the Spanish and Austrian Habsburgs. This Spanish occupation introduced increased taxation, religious persecution of Protestants and eventually the Dutch revolt against Spanish rule by the 17th century as the Protestant northern provinces sought independence. In the late 18th century, Belgium was conquered by the French during the Napoleonic era. After Napoleon's defeat in 1815, Belgium and the Netherlands were united as the Kingdom of the Netherlands. However, the Belgians rebelled due to economic, cultural and religious differences, leading to the creation of an independent Kingdom of Belgium in 1830. Over the 19th and 20th centuries, Belgium industrialized rapidly and developed a strong economy centered around coal, iron, steel and railways. It also established itself as a center of culture, producing famous artists and architects. Both World War I and World War II took a heavy toll on Belgium, with much loss of life and destruction from battles between German, British and American forces. Since World War II, Belgium has rebuilt itself as an important business and political centre in Europe, with Brussels now serving as the headquarters for the EU government. Belgium has a population of about 11.5 million people as of 2020. The majority ethnic group in Belgium is the Flemings, who make up about 60% of the population. The Flemings are culturally Dutch, 
and live mostly in northern Belgium. The next largest group are the Walloons, at about 40% of the population. The Walloons are culturally French and live mostly in southern Belgium. There are also very small ethnic minorities in Belgium, including Italians, Turks, Moroccans, Congolese and Poles. There are three official languages in Belgium, Dutch, French and German. Dutch is spoken by about 60% of the population as their first language, mostly in Flanders. French is spoken natively by about 40%, mostly in Wallonia. German is the primary language for less than 1%. Around 60% of Belgium's population identify as Roman Catholic, while the rest is divided between Islam, Orthodox Christian, Protestant and non-religious or other. Belgium has one of the world's largest economies with a GDP of roughly $590 billion. Its economic strengths lie in services, transportation and high-end manufacturing. About 75% of GDP comes from services including finance, business administration and transportation logistics located in Brussels the headquarters of NATO and the EU. Other major industries include banking, diamond processing, chemicals, automotive and glass manufacturing. With Europe's second largest shipping port in Antwerp, transportation is vital to Belgium's export-driven economy. Belgium runs regular trade surpluses, exporting specialized manufactured goods while importing commodities. Key economic partners are nearby European countries like Germany, France, Netherlands and the UK that make up most of its trade. Concerns for Belgium's future competitiveness include rising costs and high public debt levels. But its strategic location, advanced industries and role as a European finance and business centre help ensure its economy remains globally significant. Belgian culture reflects both French and Dutch influences with a unique blend of attributes from its two main ethno-linguistic groups, the Northern Flemish and Southern Walloons. Belgium has made significant contributions to the arts across various mediums. In particular, Belgian painters have produced many influential and pioneering works. Famous Belgian painters include the Flemish masters of the 15th and 16th centuries, such as Jan van Eyck, renowned for his unprecedented attention to detail and realistic depictions. Peter Paul Rubens, the leading Flemish Baroque artist of the 17th century, who specialized in expressive religious and mythological subject matter. The Belgian surrealists of the 20th century, like René Magritte, who created thought-provoking and often unsettling images questioning perception and reality. Other well-known artistic domains where Belgium has excelled include Art Nouveau architecture, symbolized by the buildings designed by Victor Horta, and comics, where Hergé's The Adventures of Tintin remains iconic worldwide. Belgium has made a global mark in the fashion world, thanks in large part to the radical avant-garde designs that emerged from Antwerp in the 1980s and 90s. This movement was led by trailblazing graduates of Antwerp's Royal Academy of Fine Arts who shook up the fashion establishment and became known as the Antwerp Six. The Antwerp Six includes Walter van Beirendonck, Anne de Meulemeester, Dries van Noten, Dirk Bickenbergs, Dirk van Sayene and Marina Yi. They pioneered a bold new aesthetic characterized by dark asymmetrical cuts and vibrant embroidery, blending elegance with an edgy radicalism. Beyond the arts, Belgian culture is also defined by its food, combining French finesse with Flemish heartiness. Belgium is well known for its waffles, served with sweet toppings like chocolate, fruit, whipped cream or syrup. Belgian waffles are larger, lighter and sweeter than American-style waffles. Other popular sweet treats include Belgian chocolate truffles, which are chocolate shell spheres filled with ganache, 
buttercream or liqueur. Pralines are also popular, made of chocolate shells with a softer filling. Savory dishes in Belgium draw French and German influences. These include moule frites, mussels cooked in white wine, herbs and cream, served with French fries, carbonade flamande, beef stew braised in beer, similar to French beef bourguignon, watazui, a creamy chicken or fish stew made with vegetables, bitter ball and deep fried meatballs, usually made of beef. Belgian cuisine also features cured meats like ham, salami and smoked sausages served cold, as well as cheese plates showcasing local varieties like Hervé cheese. Beer features prominently with popular varieties like Lambics, Flemish Red Ales, Abbey Ales and Trappist beers produced by monks. Wine and other European cuisine is also commonly found. The combination of French cuisine, Germanic heartiness and unique local specialties makes Belgian food distinct and diverse. Dishes tend to be hearty, flavorful and filling. Belgium has a strong sporting culture and has achieved significant success at the Olympic level. The nation's Olympic medalists have excelled in disciplines like cycling, judo, athletics, equestrian and hockey. Famous Olympians include multiple gold medalist Tia Hellebout for high jump and legendary cyclists like Greg Van Avermaet. The most popular sports in Belgium are by far soccer and cycling. Soccer is akin to a national obsession, with the men's national team having reached recent World Cups and top-level professional leagues enjoy passionate support. As for cycling, races like the Tour of Flanders attract massive community participation and viewership. Belgium is considered one of cycling's heartlands. If you enjoyed this video on Belgium, you'll love this next one.